To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. On a beautiful walk through Audubon Park in uptown New Orleans, there is nothing left to remind strollers that this lovely garden was the birthplace of Louisiana's commercial sugar industry in the late 18th century. Other than the magnificent groves of live oaks, the once expansive indigo and later sugarcane plantation of Jean Etienne de Barre remains only in history. De Barre, a Frenchman born in the Illinois country to an aristocratic French family, arrived in New Orleans in the 1770s during the city's Spanish colonial era and quickly made his mark. He married Marie Marguerite d'Estrahan, the daughter of Jean Noël d'Estrahan, a former French colonial official, and set about growing indigo on his upriver plantation. After the indigo trade declined in Louisiana, de Barre switched to sugarcane. Although the Jesuits and others had grown sugarcane in the colony for many years to make syrup and a strong alcoholic drink called taffia, it was de Barre, with the help of immigrants from Saint-Domingue, who introduced the refining and granulation of sugar to the colony. As a result, de Barre built a sizable fortune, and his success stimulated the rapid growth of sugarcane cultivation and processing throughout South Louisiana. Sugar became a major Louisiana export until the rise of cotton decades later. On the dark side, the new and labor-intensive sugar industry greatly expanded the slave trade in Louisiana. After the Louisiana Purchase in 1803, de Barre became the city's first mayor in the new American era. Etienne de Barre, planter, soldier, entrepreneur, and political leader, is buried in St. Louis No. 1 Cemetery. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection.